Hello, I'm Tom Serraro, uh, inventor and also uh, builder of these systems. These are the uh, joystick control systems that will control prop boats and also uh, water jet systems. And uh, what we have here is the JCS 4200TJ, which is twin jet system. Here's the joystick controller. I have it in a, sort of a makeshift uh, frame here to hold it up so we can show you um, how it operates. Uh, in an earlier video, we showed you the components, and now we're going to show you some simple operation. And this application happens to be driving two uh, DC actuators that are uh, fitted for the uh, type of uh, Hamilton 274 type jets, uh, but this is a tractor jet is uh, being used on. And also, if we see the junction box here, how it's connected, uh, the two actuators, and then the main cable that goes back to the CPU. And there's the uh, amp connectors we talked about earlier and how they connect the system together. Now, uh, the system operates, I just have a temporary power supply, so I'll just power it up here on a small battery. We see that uh, the manual light illuminates, and what manual does is it's the default feature on this system. So if you were to move the joystick uh, forward or aft, the actual actuators themselves will move in unison and they'll do this uh, as a mechanical, electromechanical way in case there's a default problem with the uh, CPU. So I'll go ahead and show you. I'll move the joystick and we move that. It acts as a switch so it continues to move until you let go of the stick. If you move the stick, keep holding it, they'll keep moving until you stop. And they'll just move in unison all the way back and they have electronic in stops that stops. And you can go all the way forward with them. And of course that moves the actual mechanism that uh, changes the deflector angle and movement of up and down. Now if we go to the uh, mode of docking, which is the best feature of these kind of systems for jets, is because it has a self-centering joystick and uh, the joystick goes returns to center. So if we move to the docking point, they go back to their neutral center place. And so when you move the joystick itself, forward or aft, you can see these just barely move and they'll move in small increments whatever way you move and follow the joystick. So if we can get a shot here of the um, actual joystick and then the actuators, they'll move in unison uh, with the joystick. So wherever you move the joystick is where they move. So you can move with fine movements. You let go of it. Say you're docking and you get a little nervous of the deflectors of where they are and you have a little current and so you lose, you feel like, well, I lose my confidence now. You let go of it, they go right back to their neutral position. So you can go all the full open, full all the way up, or full all the way astern and release it and they all go back to the center point. Now, in connection and in unison with this system of the deflectors, there's also in this actuator is the steering mechanism. So this is uh, just a simulation for the steering. Sometimes we use uh, electric actuators, but most of the time these systems are tied into the hydraulic system. So we will steer a hydraulic pump or hydraulic valves, and this is proportional too. So wherever you move the joystick, wherever the joystick is being moved, that's where the actuator will go too. And so you can actually move all three at the same time, just any actuators you want. Of course, this is as much as we talked about before, is just uh, to run a particular type of jet uh, and uh, just for simulation purposes with the steering. Now, on this system, there's another feature here, and that is uh, there's a third mode on this particular system because this is custom for this application. Uh, they don't have a bow thruster with this system. So, in that case, you push this button and it goes into a third mode, and when that does it, uh, we can use the power of the jets in order to move the vehicle, uh, the vessel sideways uh, very precisely and, and plus you have some control and I'll just go ahead and show you. You push the button, hold it, and then this will extinguish this LED and the other one starts blinking. Now you're in the sideways uh, control. So, but you still can have your unison forward and aft, but if you move the joystick on its x-axis from the side to side, Say we want to blow the boat to starboard, move it this way, and the starboard actuator drops all the way down. You still can fluctuate in center, off above and at forward and aft of center with the port actuator if you want to, and you still have control of the steering. And if you had a bow thruster, you still could use that. And so this will blow the boat completely sideways, 
and you'll see that this uh, mode always lets you know from the blinking LED that you're in that mode. And if you let go of it, everything returns back to its neutral position. If you want to blow it to the starboard, take the joystick, move it towards the starboard, the port one, I'm mean, towards the port, and the port goes all the way in. You still can fluctuate the steering, and you still can also feather the other side. And so this gives you pinpoint accuracy going sideways on a vessel like that. So if you're going at quite a clip sideways towards the dock, you just release it and engage the other side. And it's like putting the brakes on with the joystick, and it gives you quite the sensation of total control. So as you can see, the very fine movements that you have here, the very, very fine movements to aggressively moving it one way or the other, and it returns to center. Steering has two different speeds. You can hear that, so you can go fast, and it also slows right down to where it wants to go. It stops. So now these systems um, uh, are fitted for many different vessels. We uh, can put these systems on any type of vessel, any type of jet, Hamilton jet, Kamawa jet, um, you name the jet, ultra jet, tractor jet, any jet, any prop system, we can put this system on and control the vessel itself. We replaced a lot of Hinkley's uh, systems, direct Hinkley, we're the first ones that uh, designed and invented the Hinkley joystick control system. And uh, we continue to replace those. These are direct replacements for the all Hinkley vessels and all little harbor vessels and uh, many other vessels that are out there. We uh, build systems that are from 24 feet in length all the way up to 210 feet of length and we'll custom and design and build the systems for any application and for any uh, individual. We're also an engineering company. As you can see, there's many replacements. We have the icon replacements. There's I have two, far too many of these to put on the bench for demonstration, but this is the icon system that Hinkley has. Um, replaced many, many of those systems. Uh, here's the uh, PDI and also the Rolls-Royce system that we replace. We replaced hundreds of these systems. We have also the HSRC valve here that we replace uh, and put our own valve packs in, as was mentioned in the first video. Um, and we directly drive the valves with electronic valves or electric valves, either proportional or bang bang type valves. So these uh, systems, they go from the uh, JCS 2100 all the way up to JCS 8100 for the largest vessels. Uh, we have uh, quick disconnect connectors. Uh, everything is connectable and, and uh, can be uh, taken apart very quickly if we had to have a ship back or have anything uh, go wrong. And here's the main CPU. And uh, one other thing on the cruise mode control here, if we go to cruise control, um, this gives you the same kind of, uh, in this application for this custom system, it gives you the same control where you have manual control on the deflectors and leave them wherever you move them. If you move them all the way down, then they stay all the way down. If you move them all the way up, they'll stay up wherever you go. And this normally would have a trim control on it, and also you control the Z-axis steering on vessels. So that would be the difference between the manual control. Manual control just gives you helm wheel steering. This gives you helm wheel steering. And um, the manual will also allow you to go into autopilot mode if you like. Um, but in this application, we're just using this as the same as manual mode. And of course, if we move the joystick, as we said, and move the deflectors all the way down or all the way up, if you hit docking mode, they automatically come all the way back up. So if you're also in this third mode by holding it down for three seconds, and that starts going into third mode, if you want to get out of that mode, all you do is go into any other mode and go right back. And it switches, and you're right back into those modes. Well, I hope you appreciate this demonstration. This is a just one of many that's going to be coming and uh, describing how the JCS systems for control engineering, the web site is www.joystickcontrol.com. Thanks.